Okay, so now it's time to hang the timing chain. Uh, the first thing you want to do uh, before you put the timing chain on is to slide the uh, cam gear onto the camshaft. There's an uh, alignment dowel and then the three bolts will line up assuming you have a three bolt style cam. Um, <clears throat> on the cam gear and on the crank gear there are two dots. So there's a dot there and then on the crank gear there's a dot. Uh, the goal so if you just slid the cam in, uh, the orientation could be off. So you want to rotate the cam around by hand until that dot lines up with this dot. So you, if you haven't already put the uh, number one piston at top dead center, which is where uh, the crank gear would be uh, at the 12 o'clock position, and then rotate the cam around to get it at the 6 o'clock position with the dot and the dot. So those should line up. So go ahead and get the cam rotated so that when we have the chain on it, um, we'll be able to line things up. Okay. So take your cam gear. We're going to put just a little bit of uh, oil, just a thin layer here on the thrust side of the cam gear. So I got a little bucket of oil down here. We'll just wipe that around. Just a little bit. It doesn't take much. But just so it has some lubrication on it. I also pre-soaked my timing chain in this same bucket of oil. Just helps make sure you get a little bit of oil into the rollers, into the pins, just so it doesn't have a dry start. Alright, so get the bottom lined up, and then it should slide on. Then double check now that you've put it back on and make sure your timing dots for the cam gear and the crank gear are still lined up. If it's off, then you need to readjust and get it on uh, so that those two line up. That's 100% critical. And then I've got the uh, ARP uh, cam bolts. I'll slide one in just to Make sure things don't fall. All right, I'm going to clean up my hands, and then we'll put a little uh, blue Loctite on these, and we'll torque them to 15 foot-pounds. I'm sorry, 25 foot-pounds. bit of blue Loctite on each bolt. I've already test fit <clears throat> the cam and the timing chain so I've run these bolts in and out several times so I know the threads inside the cam are clean but it's good to check that at least before the first time you run these bolts in and tighten them down. If it's a new cam you're probably better off it's unlikely that they would be dirty, but especially if you're reusing a cam, make sure the threads in there are clean. Otherwise, it can affect your torque specs. Now, if you're doing this the first time, like I said, I've already done a couple of draft fits just to make sure things were going to line up. Uh, before you torque these down, you know, get them in there and get them snug. Uh, but then rotate the crank over at least one revolution and make sure your timing marks uh, line back up again. If they don't, something's off. Um, and then make sure, of course, there's no interference that the chain doesn't get overly tight uh, in any particular spot. The uh, LS2 timing chain that I'm using, they have a little bit of slack in them. Um, and from everything I've read, that's fairly normal. Uh, I don't love it, but it's just kind of the way it is. But from what I can tell, it shouldn't be a problem. And the torque spec on these 
is 25. I will go 15 to start. There we go. So we've got our, now you can see the crank rotate a little bit so my dots no longer line up, but <clears throat> we've got the LS2 timing chain and LS2 uh, cam timing gear. Um, we used the trick flow adapter bracket so that we could use the LS2 um, timing chain dampener. It's not a tensioner, it's a dampener. Um, and there we go. Uh, so our next step will be to put the oil pump on and uh, we'll keep going. Uh, I thought I'd show you very quickly. Uh, this one here is an LS2 timing chain and this was my old LS1 timing chain. Uh, and I thought I'd just give you a uh, close-up visual. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, how much thicker uh, the links are uh, in the LS2 versus the LS1 uh, timing chain. Uh, so that's why this is a common upgrade. Uh, if you're replacing the timing chain in a LS1, you can use the LS2 uh, timing chain for a nice upgrade uh, and still use factory pieces. Uh, so I thought I'd just give you a quick visual. Seeing uh, kind of helps uh, make that more clear.